Hey guys, Alex Messing here and as you know, AI tools continue to get deeper and deeper into our lives. They're almost everywhere and Adobe's After Effects is no exception. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three very powerful AI tools built into the After Effects that will help you create better videos and do it very efficiently. Let's go. The first AI tool is called the Content Aware Fill. And what it does is it can help you remove any unwanted stuff from your videos. Let me show you how it works. So here's a clip of my wife standing in the park. And what I wanna do here is I want to remove this ugly sign in the background. So the whole process here will be done in two steps. Step one will create a mask around the unwanted object and track it. And step two will use the content aware fill to remove it. So let's position our playhead at the first frame of our video, zoom in closer and with our clip layer selected, grab the pen tool and draw a mask around the sign. Let's make sure to leave some empty space between our mask border and the object. Something like this will do. Now we come to our mask settings and here, just for now, we'll change add to none. So we created a mask around the object that we want to remove. Now because the camera was moving, we also need to track it. To do that, we come here to mask 1, right click it and select track mask. The tracker panel should open. If you don't see it, just go to window and make sure tracker is selected. In the tracker panel, we click this play forward button and it will do the automatic mask tracking. When it's done, we can quickly scrub through the timeline to make sure the tracking was successful. In our case, it was. After the mask tracking is done, we need to come here again and change none to subtract. So at this point, we are done with mask and tracking and the only thing left is to fill this empty hole with new content. For that, we'll go ahead and open up the Content Aware Fill panel. If you don't see it, come to Window and check Content Aware Fill. Now here, we have several parameters. Alpha extension can increase or decrease the area that is to be filled. For our clip, it's perfectly fine as it is, so let's leave it at zero. Next, for Fill method, we have three options. Object, which removes an object from the video. Surface, which replaces the surface of an object and edge blend, which blends surrounding edge pixels. In our case, we want to remove an object, so I'm gonna go ahead and select object. Next, we can decide if we want to have lighting correction, which is useful if during your video the lighting conditions were changing. So if, for example, at the start of your video the sun was shining, but then later on it went behind the clouds. Here we also have three different modes, subtle, moderate and strong, depending on how much the lighting conditions were changing. In our case, the lighting didn't really change, so no need to activate it. And the last parameter, range, could be either work area or entire composition, which is pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna go with work area. So now we can click generate fill layer and After Effects will use the AI magic and remove this ugly sign from our video. And here's the final result. So yeah, I think it's a really nice tool which can help you easily remove some imperfections from your video. Just keep in mind that it also has limitations and it's currently not as powerful as something like generative fill in Photoshop. When you try to remove bigger objects, like in this example, the result may end up looking a bit weird. So just avoid removing objects which are too complex and you should be good to go. Moving on to the next AI tool on our list, which is called the Pixel Motion. And what it does is it can help you turn a normal speed or normal frame rate clip into a slow motion video. So let's say we've got this clip with a rally car drifting in the off-road situation. What I want to do here is I want to slow down the part of the clip when the car starts kicking up a big cloud of dust. To do that, I'm gonna right click the clip layer, go to time and enable time remapping. Then let's come to the first frame from which we want the slow motion to begin and click here to create a time remap keyframe. After that, I'm gonna go to where I want my slow motion to end and set another keyframe there. So what we did is we selected the start and the end position of the section which we want to slow down. Let's now extend the layer a little bit and then select this and the very last keyframe and drag them closer to the right side. What we did 
is we increased the distance between these two keyframes and therefore slowed down this part of the video. Let's play it and see how it looks. So as you can see, we are not there yet. The video became really jumpy and it even started to look like a series of pictures, not a video. The reason is that our clip was shot at a normal frame rate, which is in our case 30 frames per second, just like our composition. So now we slowed down the video and it started to look jumpy because we're missing the frames in between those jumps. Now, to fix it and to really sell this slow motion effect, we need to use the power of AI. To do that, we'll go ahead and right click the video, go to the frame blending and change it from off to pixel motion. If we play the video now, you'll see that the video suddenly became smooth and this jumpiness disappeared. So what this AI just did is it analyzed the movement in our video and created brand new frames to fill in the holes. Let's watch the final result. I think it looks really cool. And despite the fact that this clip has a really complex scene, you know, the car, dust and everything, the pixel motion did a pretty good job here. But one thing I mention every time I speak about AI tools is it's not perfect. In some cases, the motion in the video is so complex that slowing it down and using pixel motion just makes it look extremely weird and glitchy. But apart from that, it's a really, really useful tool which I use very often and not only to make some creative look like with this off-road race, but for example, to slow down a B-roll shot so that it covers the longer portion of the video. For that, you don't even have to go through the whole time remapping process. Just make sure to activate this icon right here, come to stretch and increase percentage to stretch your video as you wish. And finally, right click your video, go to the frame blending and and select pixel motion. And the last AI tool that I'm gonna show you today is called the scene edit detection. As you might have noticed, the first two AI tools required some additional editing before the actual AI magic happened, but scene edit detection is actually a tool which works with the press of a button. Finally, right? Let's say we have a video that already has multiple clips inside. So basically an already edited video. If we want to split this video back into the individual clips, we obviously need to find the cut points. Now, to avoid the manual work, we can simply right-click the clip layer and choose Scene Edit Detection. In most cases, I go with Split Layer at Scene Edit, which will automatically find the cut points and split the layer into individual clips. That saves a lot of time, right? You can also choose to create precoms when splitting the layer, or instead, you can create layer markers which will place markers at the cut points. This tool has a lot of application cases. If you are, for example, a freelance video editor, you know that sometimes you receive footage from clients which contains not only individual clips, but also already edited videos, which you need to re-edit into new videos, shuffle clips around, etc. Using a scene edit detection on those clips will save you a ton of time. But also, if you're working with any pre-exported videos, which you need to finalize in After Effects, you can quickly run scene edit detection and have a much better overview of the video's cut points. So guys, the AI tools in After Effects are really cool and useful. I must admit, however, that there are not as many of them as in Premiere Pro, for example. Speaking of which, I actually did a video about five amazing AI tools in Premiere Pro, which you can watch by clicking the link in the top right corner. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Like the video if it was helpful, subscribe for more, and until the next time, have a good one.